The Fayette County Sheriff says the house fire that killed a man on Porter Road last Thursday is suspicious. And they've now asked for assistance from the state's fire marshal office to investigate. As Fox 5's Doug Evans reports now, the victim's son was arrested on unrelated charges near that fire scene. Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb tells me that they can't release the identity of the victim of this fire because they're waiting on an autopsy. He does confirm that they have arrested the man's son, who they say was driving drunk after the fire and also had a firearm in his car. At the fire scene on Porter Road in Fayette County, flowers have been placed near what was the bedroom where investigators say they found the man's body. Photos the sheriff's office released to Fox 5 from the night of the fire show it was an intense blaze. Nearly the entire roof had burned away. Some of the first floor has collapsed into the home's basement as well. Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb says his investigators are working with the state fire marshal's office as well as the state crime lab to determine what started the fire, how the man died, and if there was foul play involved. Sheriff Babb says there are things in the investigation that he can't yet release that have raised suspicion. During the process of the case, some things started coming to light that definitely led us into that direction of being a suspicious fire. Sheriff Babb says a patrol deputy arrested the son of the man believed killed in the fire after stopping a pickup truck he was driving near the fire scene. Sheriff Babb says the truck was registered to the victim and deputies were curious when it drove by the fire scene that night without stopping. 23-year-old Griffin Michael Leach is charged with DUI in possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The arrest warrant states Leach has a previous conviction for aggravated assault and was out on probation. If you have any information that can help in this investigation, call the Fayette County Sheriff's Office. In Fayette County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.